David Clendon. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and it's my pleasure to speak on behalf of the Greens in recognising this remarkable milestone and to join with other parties in offering our, um, our congratulations and our good wishes. So for over 63 years, the monarchy has remained unchanged, one of the very few points of stability in an otherwise very fast-changing world. One could write a very long and learned dissertation on the changes in the world in the, the last 63 years, um, and no doubt somebody will. For the moment, I'll, I'll constrain myself to commenting on just two matters, two indicators of change over that time. So one of those would be um, a few hours ago in this House, we passed a treaty bill, one in a, a series of treaty bills. And with all of the settlement bills, the text contains an acknowledgement and a very profound apology from the Crown for wrongs done to Māori in the past and for the ongoing ill effects of those um, misdeeds of the Crown and the governments. I think that would have been such an apology would have been inconceivable 63 years ago. And I think we now recognise the importance of the Crown apology as a significant part of settling the disputes that do continue to linger in New Zealand and no doubt will for some wee while yet. So the other um, matter I'd reflect on is the identity of our Governors General over the recent decades. Um, initially and for many years, in fact, a long line of British soldiers typically. Um, in 1967, we saw our first New Zealand-born Governor-General, uh, a military person, a doctor, an athlete. 1985, our first Governor-General of Māori descent representing the Queen in New Zealand. 1990, a significant breakthrough, a woman took into that role of Governor-General, the Queen's representative in New Zealand. 2006, a man, a New Zealand-born man, but of Indo-Fijian descent. And I think, of course, now the incumbent Governor-General, uh, again, somebody who proudly proclaims Māori heritage. And I think these differences do indicate that while we've had stability, continuity, we've also had change. And I think it's uh, incumbent on all of us to seek to find the right balance between stability and change in our work in this House. So, sir, enough from me. Again, simply to reiterate our congratulations and our good wishes. Kia ora. Ron Mark. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.